Hey y'all! What's up? What's up? Welcome back! Thank you for tuning back into another video on our channel. And today we are doing a Trinidadian food feast taste test. We mentioned this before, but we are half Trinidadian, so we basically like grew up eating homemade, authentic Trinidadian food that our mom cooked and everything. The place that we got the Trinidadian food from is called Trin City, and it's here in Queens. Yeah, on Lefferts Boulevard, so we, and we got had to pull up. mad food. Like Better tear this up. Period. I'm gonna go ahead and put the descriptions for everything on the screen, but we did get two doubles. We got an alu pie, kalori, curry mango, we got cassava and dumpling, and we got roti, and then we got this like coconut cake thingy, but I'm so excited. All right, so we have this table of food. Yeah, I finally did order a table, but. Anyways, on the way here, I popped my tire in my car, so we had to transition. Now the table's like weird. But yeah. anyway, let's get into it. Oh, the drinks. They're like Jamaican drinks. Some of these items I've had before, like when I went to Trinidad, but some items it's like her first time having. I've never been to Trinidad. Yes, revoke my Trini card. I'm not authentic. We know. But I definitely want to travel there in the future. But for now, Trin City's going to have to. Trin City's going to have to cut it. So let's go. Exactly. I'm and I haven't been hungry. in like 12 years. So Wait. I'm starting with the double. I got boneless chicken because I just like boneless chicken. But there's some like chana in here, aka chickpeas, chicken, some sauce. Let's eat. Oh my god, it's delicious. It's literally amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, tell me what you think. It's spicy though, because if they put pepper in it, mm. it's so spicy, but... The dough part itself, literally everything. I have the hiccups, but... Mm. It just made me so happy. I haven't had doubles in so long, bro. Oh. It's like, it's just a lot in one. So there's so many different flavors, so many different spices, love, stuff all over. I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I love chickpeas, so like, anything with chickpeas, I'm there, so... So oh, I'm gonna so save the rest of my. You pick next. I pick the doubles. Ah! I'm gonna just go with the pylori. All right. So up next, pylori, which is just like fried little balls. I believe with split peas they're made from. And it's supposed to come with like a sauce, like a chutney sauce or something on the side, but we didn't know. I thought it came with it. So yeah. I'm just gonna dip it in the curry mango. We didn't eat it yet, but there's curry mango here. They're light, fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Pylori is everything. I'm dipping in the curry mango sauce. I've never had pylori, but we never mm. had this before. I'm not even mad. I'm telling you, curry mango is one of my favorite curries, like, out there. Oh my god. Oh, everything is so, so good. good. Curry mango just Damn. tastes different for me, like, on every level. First time having pylori, amazing. The texture Fire. on the inside is dense, but not in a bad Ooh. way. It's kind of like fluffy but dense at the same time if that makes yeah. sense like it's so good if any of our cousins are co watching <laughs> comment below if you're watching and if you're craving trinidadian food right now exactly let's do the alu pie okay so we got a shrimp alu pie okay so this is what the alu pie looks like it's pretty much just a pocket and then it's filled with like the shrimp and everything like that on the inside i'm excited <laughs> Yum. The texture on the outside is pillowy. It's light and airy. The shrimp on the inside. I think it's like curry shrimp. I'm pretty sure It's so freaking delicious like y'all. We just zoned out for a second because you said the shrimp per Perfection. I actually think I like the alu pie better than the double. Ooh. The texture better on the, the alu pie. This is a little spicy Oh, that's spicy. Oh my god, that's spicy. Oh, I didn't get to the spice quite yet. It is. I think it's the pepper sauce lord we don't even have water all we have is soda which is probably making it worse i guess let's get into the fried mango we're okay. still the aloe no we can move on if you never had caribbean food but specifically trinidadian food try you have it. to try it like i definitely want to go to trinidad but i want to wait until like a lot of the family is going like when i went it was because it was like a huge family reunion it's just best to go to Trinidad with like family because then they show you all like the spots and like they know all the places and like the people they can the show culture. you all the family and everything like all right you want to move on to the curry mango yeah okay all right we got the curry mango i got a small like that Her. i feel like curry mango is perfect because it's just that mix of sweet and spice yes oh it's still warm mm -hmm. mm. i can't i'm done the only word i have to say is nostalgic and it's like a mix of sweet but then a mix of spicy with the sauce like this is something you have to get like go get you some for real 
And the way when you cook the mango and the way it just becomes that like soft texture is mm -hmm. like everything. Yeah, the mango texture, if y'all could see, it's like really, really soft. This is probably one of the best curry mangoes I've had, like ever. Yeah, that's not fact. I'm sorry, nothing better than curry mango. <sighs> Periods. And had red mango in there and I was gonna get a pack, but I'm like, I don't wanna spend too much money. But red mango, if you freaking know, you know. That's just like a classic staple as well. I'm feeling full already. <sighs> Same. Me going from starving to full. Okay, I'm like, what's next? Like, this is, you know, what it is. Okay, that's what it looks like. like. Big and fluffy, and, and it smells super good too. Like, then we had, they had like their daily special, which was the dumpling and cassava, and then you could like choose your choice of meat. And we got just like chicken with it. Dumplings, cassava, chicken. Freaking love like a Caribbean dumplings because they're different. Yep. They're not. They're not like your tip. They're not like Asian dumplings. You know what I mean? Ones like they're thicker and harder and they have a chew to it they, they usually don't have filling inside it's kind of just like the heavy dough itself if yeah. that makes sense hard to explain yo look how big this dumpling is bro no damn, damn. look how big that dumpling is all right we're gonna split that that is huge dude i'm so excited like they look that's what the inside looks like they're super thick super chewy it sauce looks yet in sauce mm -hmm. or like a soup yeah if you make trinidadian soup there's you put like dumplings in a soup so yeah all right. Uh, uh. All right. <laughs> well, this piece is so big it keeps falling. All right. So good. Mm. Yeah. So good. Perfect. Perfect texture. Mm -hmm. Perfect with the sauce. They killed it. Yeah, the dumpling on the dumpling on the texture. The texture on the dumpling is literally perfect. My like, dumplings never come out like this. And you can always take like the roti and then you use that kind of as like a mechanism to like pick up the food mm -hmm. with. You like fill it, like boom, blah, blah, blah. Ah, it's one food on the windshield by accident. No. And like you just use it and you like pick up the food with the roti and just eat it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me try mm. to this cassava too. Yo, low key, what is cassava? Like I don't, I'm. I think cassava is like a potato, like a starch. Okay. We're gonna try that. All right, cassava. this is the cassava. Okay. Mad good, yo. Yo. No. no, sorry. What? I've never had cassava either. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, cassava. Mm. If you're watching this and you're Trinidadian or Caribbean, and you make like you know like curry chicken with the sides, let us know if y'all use potato or cassava. Cause now I'm curious if like a lot of people use cassava because we usually just use like potato at the side. Yo, this is the roti. Look at that. Just put a piece of chicken, and so you just. Mm. The chicken is everything. Oh my god, the stew chicken is everything. The roti is so good. Is it? Oh, the chicken's so warm too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that. It's so good, delicious, please. Delicious, I'm delicious. waiting for you to like. The roti with the chicken. Everything. Classic combo. Fire. As usual. Like. Mmm. The chicken is really, really tender. Mm -hmm. The way they cooked it is perfect. But these are literally gonna hit so well later tonight. Already know too. I just said this, but. When you wear nails and then like you eat food like this, it's over. It's literally over. Yeah, I didn't realize until just now, but I just, they're press on, so it's like not that deep, but I just did them yesterday and they're stained yellow. And I feel like the stain doesn't come out sometimes. Like when you're cooking this food at home, like, you curry, really have to curry like, does not rub your hands. Like, curry does not come out, bro. Whatever. This like, food was literally freaking amazing. -ons. The soda is definitely con contributing. Why would you get that close to him? It uh, it was not that serious. All I have to is if you know, you know. If you know, you I know. I mean, I low-key want to go to Trinidad when it's carnival so I can get like a custom fitted outfit. <laughs> like that's what I want. That is one of my life goals to go for carnival in Trinidad. The little, you know, little hot outfits they have. We were always like, we're gonna hire a seamstress and have them literally so like, we're gonna like kind of like, well, I want to draw my own costume. Yeah, yeah, and have like a seamstress like sew them and put like mad diamond. I already have a color in mind. I have a theme I've had for years. Like I need the whole like feathery bat drop mm -hmm. thing. Please don't play with me. I want to participate in all the festivities, yeah. like the whole weekend, the whole week. Like we gotta, gotta go. make it happen sometime. Like oh yeah, I forgot we also have this, y'all. We didn't even eat this. This is our little dessert, like coconut roll. She said, "Don't tune out yet, y'all, because we're still gonna try the coconut cake in a few minutes." Well, for y'all, it'll be like. Five seconds, but for us, it'll be two minutes. Yeah, I need a second to digest, honestly. 
Anyways, y'all, go to Trin City. Like, go to Trin City. Mm -hmm. Prepare, like I said, for a long line and it to be hectic. Maybe kind of like get what you want in mind ahead of time. This was everything I needed and more. It honestly was. 10 out of 10, Trin City. We probably will go to the art gallery today that we, if you watched our video last weekend, we didn't make it to the art gallery in time before they closed. We're probably gonna head over there now or sometime. But yeah, anyways, stay tuned for the coconut cake, babes. Y'all, I was just saying that I'm literally so proud that I did not get any food or stains on my white sweater while eating this. And then I looked at the sleeve and there's literal like curry marks all down my sleeve. So that's definitely not coming out. So loss for me. Okay, y'all, it's your girl Shayna. I'm ending the video solo. I'd start to like and look scary. Um, it's nighttime, but anyways, I'm sorry if I look scary because I'm literally so tired. But this what it looks like it's like red on the inside. Honestly, the coconut roll is fire. So I highly recommend going to check out Trin City in Queens if you're in the area. But yeah, the food was amazing. And we will literally catch you guys in the next video. So thank you. Love you. Bye.